Hey folks, Sam here with Sam Wood Outdoors. Time for a Trapper's Ed video. This is gonna be on fisher trapping. A bunch of guys have gotten fisher tags this year. They're, they're asking, you know, what's the best set? What's the best trap? How do I set it up? Everything else like that. Fisher is actually uh, pretty easy. It's kind of a waiting game. They're a roaming animal. So if you find a good spot, if you know there's fisher there and you make a good set, uh, you're probably going to connect. Um, so, but here's how I do Fisher and what I do for Fisher. First thing, really, this is all I got when I run down, jump out of the truck to do a Fisher set. It's just this little bag. Sometimes I carry a cubby with me, portable cubby. You can make this out of wood, you can make it out of wire. It's just the size of a 160. Got some slots cut in the side here for the springs. Easy peasy, Japanesey. That's that. For bait, I use beaver and muskrat. Um, I like beaver preferably because it has a higher fat content and it doesn't freeze as much. Muskrat is my second go-to bait. Um, other than that, that's all I use. Uh, you can probably check and find out what other guys are using. Some guys I know use venison, chicken, whatever. I use muskrat and beaver. I trap my muskrat and beaver in the early part of the year, then I go after my fisher. Um, as far as traps go, only trap I use for fisher is a 160 counter bear. That's it. I, I don't use nothing else. I don't use foothold traps. I don't use anything like that. A lot of guys that are got fisher tags and they live up north and whatever and they run a coyote line, they usually fill their fishers. So you can use a dirt hole on a coyote line and you'll probably get a fisher over time. But these are the sets that I make specifically for fisher. So I got a 160 and then in my bag, you know, really easy. I got trapping wire. I got some uh, snips for cutting branches. I'll show you why in a minute. Carry a little hammer um, because you can go to these. They're really easy, quick and easy. They're called killer clips. They hold your conibears. bears. You would just walk up, leaning pole or wherever, tap that in, boom, you're done. Um, I've kind of gotten away from these and I've gone to some wire, but I still use them a lot. So anyways, if you don't want to get these, I'll show you how to do the wire. And then uh, I got sheep's wool, Lennon's, Fisher, Super All Call. And then this is the one time you'll see me use something that Lennon doesn't make, and that's Cavins Gusto. This stuff is super loud and it smells like skunk. When I talk about a loud scent, um, it's just like yelling. I put this out and it's like really, really loud. It smells, it gets in your face, it's loud. That's the only way I can describe it. So that's what this is. Uh, you probably get a letter from your mailman. Um, I've had this stuff sent to me and the box is usually opened and it's been searched and everything else. So the dogs hit on it, whatever. So that's what I carry. And uh, let's go into uh, the sets. The one set you're gonna hear the most about, everybody's gonna tell you, is a leaning pull set. And that's what this is. There's my trap. You can see how I got it wired. Um, I would suggest you go out and practice wiring a trap before you go out in the woods to do it. It's kind of frustrating, but once you get a system down, it's really easy. I start with the wire on one spring. I run it around to the other spring. I pull it tight. I wrap it through and wrap it through making an X here on one of the jaws. Don't wire both or it won't go off, but wire one jaw, trigger this way, put it on the first notch. That's the most sensitive and you're ready to go. Then I would take and I would wire my piece of beaver meat right here. I would put the branches over the top, just like this. Wire them on here so they don't blow off and it makes a really nice tunnel and uh, it's really easy. The reason I went away from a leaning pole set was I seen a lot in the snow. I seen a lot of fishers come up, walk right by the pole, stop, maybe put one foot up on the pole, two feet up on the pole, whatever, not commit to coming up the pole to get to the beaver meat. I don't know why it is what it is. That's, I've just seen a lot of refusals. Um, I think if they're really hungry, they're gonna go no matter what, they're gonna hit any set and you're gonna get them. If they're not so hungry, I don't think the leaning pole set's the way to go. So I hardly ever use this set. It's one I stay away from. One of my favorite is the cubby, the cubby set. Um, it's basically set that box put it up here, uh, put the branches on, put your beaver meat in the back, 
put a little of your linen super all call in the back on some sheep's wool cover it like that I usually when I do this I try to find a nice tree that has some overhanging branches in case I got snow coming it doesn't get as much snow and, it, and, and it'll keep the set working <clears throat> um, then I take and I would put a piece of sheep's wool up here with my gusto on it really loud get it out same thing here you know I'd put my linens under there or on top of here I would put a little bit of linens I'd wire it in set it in here like this and then I would put my gusto up here or on a branch next to it or whatever um, the next set this one I really really like I've been getting good at it um, is I don't even know what to call it but it, it, this is I guess it's a vertical cubby you could hang a box up or whatever but this is basically if you move the branches I just wrote, wired a conibear to the tree. This is where a super clip would come in really handy. You could put it right there. But I've gotten good enough at it. I can just wire it, and it's easy, and it's done. Um, sometimes you get a punky tree. It doesn't hold or whatever. But this is what I do. Then I would take and I'd wire my piece of beaver meat or muskrat here. I'd wire these branches up in here just like this. Uh, I'd put my uh, linen super alcohol and a piece of sheep's wool here. I'd go and put my stuff here this works really good um, the, the fisher will come along and if he stops here he is going to stick his head up in there to check it out and uh, he'll be there dead in the morning so them are the three sets that I use you can elaborate it you can make it simpler you can make it whatever but them are the basic three sets like I said I've, I've gotten away from the lean and pull set I'm more into the cubbies and doing this set right here and then it's just a waiting game make the sets and wait it out you'll probably get your fisher I like to set along cricks, ponds. I like to get in this thicker cedar hemlock type area, trap edges. Uh, is basically, it's just like I said, a waiting game. I make out dozen, two dozen sets. A lot of guys don't agree with that because you only got one tag. Why make so many sets? Because it is a waiting game, odds are you're not going to catch two fisher in one night. Um, and if you do, donate it to a local high school, help educate the other people in the world with it, and, uh, and move on. But uh, I never set more than one trap in an area. I make one set, and I move on, and I spread out, and I cover ground. And uh, that's what I do to fill my Fisher tag, and it works out fairly well. If you have any questions, post them below. Comments, gripes, complaints, whatever you got, we'd like to hear them.